Hello and welcome back to NerdZap. Today I'm going to show you a really easy way to install Steam on a Chromebook. And when I say easy, this is just two steps, just two things you need to do to get it running on your Chromebook. Now I will caveat this with not all Chromebook devices will be compatible. Google recommend at least a Ryzen 3 or an i3 with eight gig of RAM and 128 gigabyte hard drive. But what I will say is just give it a try because during the setup, I was led to believe that my Chromebook, Lenovo Flex 5 wasn't compatible because the option wasn't visible on the menu to install Steam. But there's a way around this and it turns out it is compatible. I've only run a couple of games so far and they seem to work quite well. So I've run the Sims 2 Anniversary Edition and I had a quick go of Half-Life on it as well. Granted, not highly graphically demanding games, but they're the kind of things that I'll be playing on my Chromebook when I'm not near to my PC. So when it comes to gaming on a Chromebook, obviously there's a few disadvantages there. They're not usually the most powerful devices and it runs on Linux kernel, which Linux never used to support many games, but thanks to the release of the Steam Deck and something called Proton, on, we're seeing more and more games added to that compatibility list. So hopefully the game you're hoping to play in your Chromebook will work. It's absolutely worth a try. As I say, it only takes a couple of minutes. So let's get into it. Okay, so over on your Chromebook, open the Chrome browser and in the address bar type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And that will open this screen where you've got all sorts of experimental settings for your Chromebook. We're going to enable something called Borealis. So if we type in Borealis, uh, you'll get a load of options here, but the one that we're interested in is this Borealis enabled option. So if we change that from default to enabled, and it, now it says this will take effect next time you restart your device. So go ahead and click Go ahead and click the restart button there and I'll see you once that's done. Okay, now we've rebooted, go ahead and click on the launcher and type in Steam and hopefully you'll see something there that says Steam Installer. If that's there, great. If it isn't, don't panic. There may be another way to get that running. So I'll show you the other way now. Don't worry, it's, it's very basic, just one line of, of code. I wouldn't even call it code. You'll see in a minute. But if that is there, feel free to skip ahead to the next part of the video where we'll just run through the setup. So if you don't have the option to install Steam after installing Belarus, just click off the launcher, press Control, Alt and T on your keyboard and that will bring up Crush. And in here, all you need to type is insert underscore coin. And that will force the Steam for Chromebook launcher to begin. Okay, let's get gaming. So click on open Steam. And as you can see, we've got Steam for Chromebook. Let's give it a few minutes to download its updates. There's also some other sort of prereqs it needs to install. So we might install things like Proton and things like that. But when I installed this before, it was a very smooth experience. Okay, so at the login screen, I'm just going to log in using the QR code. So if I open the Steam app on my phone, I can scan that. Or you can just enter your username and password, up to you. And there you have it. That's Steam running on a Chromebook using two very simple steps. No messing around with Linux environments or anything like that. So this is very simple. Let's go ahead and install a game and I'll show you how it's pretty much the same as just installing it on a PC. So let's go ahead and install Half-Life 2. You can see it's created a library for us already. I'll go ahead and click install. And as you can see, it's even connecting to the cloud to get things like my save files. So let's have a look in the downloads. And you can see it's downloading Linux runtime and you may see some other bits appear here as well, like, like Proton things. Well, that's downloading and that will just install and play as expected. If you found this video useful, please give me a like and consider subscribing as well. I'm getting very close to 3000 subscribers. So thank you to anybody that's subscribed already and I'll see you in the next one.